Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our biceps. This was actually supposed to be part of my shoulder workout. It was supposed to be a shoulder and bicep workout but unfortunately due to time constraints I had to divide both of them and do it on a separate day. Any which ways, let's begin with the dynamic stretching. We are going to start off with the greatest stretch. Do five repetitions on each side, unlock our body's mobility, make sure we have complete range of motion, stretch our hamstrings, our glutes, our hips all together. A great way to start off our day and I totally recommend this always to everyone. If you don't like this particular stretch for any reason, please do any other kind of dynamic stretching at least for five minutes before starting your workout. Post completing my greatest stretch, I squat for at least few seconds, sit down slowly into a deep squat by stretching your hamstrings first and once they are completely stretched, bend your legs and sit in a deep squat and sit there for a few seconds feeling the stretch happening in your hips, in your thighs, feel your glutes contract, engage, keeping your posture as straight as possible and once done, we are going to begin with our exercising. Now before I start my bicep workout, I decided to warm up a little bit. It had it had I been doing this along with my shoulder workout, I need not warm it up because my biceps will be engaged a little bit more. But since I'm starting on a fresh day, I started off with a simple warm up wherein I started doing partial curls about 15 to 20 repetitions. Now you may choose to do this a couple of times, even three times till the time you feel a lot of blood flow into your bicep muscles, feeling that engagement of your biceps. Partial range is fine enough. Start off with first top to mid range and then go from mid to lower range complete extending of your elbow to get the complete range of motion in place post completing my warm-up again you might choose to do this a couple of times to feel the bicep completely activated as such but yes i have done it once and i felt fine so let's go and begin with our first exercise it's going to be the high cable curls simply start curling using a high cable turn your body away from your bicep muscle so that your shoulder is completely stretched out as you can see how i position myself and start curling place the cable at a high point highest point as much as possible and start curling from there completely activates my long head gets a great amount of contraction now what i do usually do is i do 20 repetitions of these each hand three times without taking a break in between so you start off with any hand of your preference, get 20 repetitions, switch to the other arm while your working previous working arm is resting, get your 20 repetitions and keep switching in between. Now if you feel you're getting tired in between, I would recommend not stopping initially, try to get 10, 10 repetitions and in that manner accumulate those 60 repetitions out of each hand or if you're extremely tired, Use the pause and rest technique wherein you pause for a few seconds and get back to it immediately. Post completing my high cable curls, I moved on to my preacher curls. These are called the poor man's preacher curls because you're not using any equipment or bench to support your elbow. You're simply placing your own other resting arm under the working arm to give that elevation to your elbow. And from there, you start off doing the preacher curl. You can see here how I put position myself while doing this particular exercise. You want your arm slightly forward, push your arm slightly forward by putting your non-working arm under the elbow and maintaining a strict range of motion. You go into complete extension and complete flexion with every repetition. Don't choose to take a weight extremely heavy because we are again doing this non-stop. We go three sets of these, 10 repetitions, one arm at a time without any break so you want to focus as much as possible on the rep on the repetition and also the range of motion if you go extremely heavy you might cut short on the range of motion or the number of repetitions you are able to achieve so make sure you keep your weight in control the weight should never make a, uh, be so much that you lose your form in manner now post completing my poor man's preacher curls I moved on to regular straight bar cable curls. Now in this regular straight bar cable curls, what you want to do is keep your elbows tucked in 
and strictly locked in their position. You don't want your elbows swinging forward, going back or coming away from your body. Your elbows should be beside you, tucked in nicely and strictly locked into the position. Now, in this particular exercise, I chose to do the pause and rest technique wherein I do two sets of these wherein I get the first set, 15 repetitions, pause for a few seconds, get another five more, pause again, get another five more in such manner, accumulate another 20 repetitions. So total 35 repetitions, first 15 repetitions without any break and next 20 repetitions with a few seconds of break in between every five repetitions and we do that twice. So a lot of uh, volume going into it again. We have to ensure the weight is challenging enough, not too much that you lose the range of motion wherein you're not able to completely contract or extend and also you don't fail earlier. I mean, you need to necessarily target the 35 repetitions mark. If you're able to achieve more than 35, that means you have chosen a very less amount of weight. So make sure you fail just around the 30 to 35 rep range and that would be perfect for your bicep in terms of hypertrophy. Post completing my straight bar curls, I moved on to the seated concentration curls with pronated grip, wherein my palm is facing down, my shoulder is internally rotated. We do three sets of these, 20 repetitions each hand without taking a break in between. The easiest way is to sit, seat yourself comfortably, take sufficient amount of break, drink some water before jumping into this exercise. This is going to be the last finishing exercise. So we want to get as many good repetitions as possible, ideally 20 repetitions. Make sure again, the weight is perfectly under your control, not too less, not too heavy that you're unable to curl the weight up in this internally rotated position, which you would take for this particular exercise. Now, if you notice, I position myself a little bit wider to get a little bit closer to the ground but at the same time I'm not using my elbow to push my leg apart I'm just using my leg to maintain the strict posture of my arm so my elbow is not resting or pushing against my leg in fact my leg is just stopping my elbow from swinging away or losing that internal rotation of my shoulder you might even prefer doing it standing like few people do if you have ever seen a roll uh, sorry, a reel by the great Dwayne Rock Johnson. He does that by doing standing, while standing. Now to complete off today's workout, I'm going to do the last exercise, single leg calf raises on a leg press machine. Now here again, we are going to do a cluster set wherein we are going to get 15 repetitions and another five, another five, another five. Same way, 35 to 40 repetitions with using the pause and rest technique one leg at a time so necessarily need not take a break but if you feel you can take a break after completing one set so make sure you keep your knees completely locked out because we don't want our knees to be flexed that is a seated calf raise here we are focusing more on a straight leg calf raise on a leg press machine would it make a difference doing it standing i'm not very sure it's just a variation of an exercise because end of the day the anatomically your leg is still in the same position so should not make much of a difference but i still feel a lot bit more control and focus on the contractions when doing it on a leg press machine so that might help you a little bit while standing you might lose a little bit of balance or you need to focus a lot more on your core stability to make sure you don't trip over on a leg press machine, you can solely focus on pushing your calf muscle as far as possible. Use the uh, pause and rest technique to take those small breaks in between and accumulate those 5-5 repetitions as you go and try to achieve your 35-40 to 40 repetition mark. And that's it in terms of our exercise. A very short day because again, it has been divided into two parts. We finish off with a vertical hang to stretch off our biceps to engage our forearms to get some decompression happening in our shoulder muscles a great way to end any workout thank you so much for joining me if you did like the video please do drop a like if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe i would definitely try to get a little bit more and more and more consistent with my videos uh, it's just a little bit shift in the schedule which i'm trying to readjust myself but 
in terms of my strength growth and consistency they're still on mark and i hope to make more progress and i hope that's the same thing for any one of you who have been following the program thank you so much again and i'll see you in the next video have a good day